Hey there, ladies and gents of the uh, YTPC. Treetop Piper. Coming back for another video today. Finally decided that it was about time that uh, <clears throat> I busted into this century mixture here. Been kind of putting it off. Didn't hear too much good about it. Heard that it was like a St. Ives knockoff or something, which I've never had St. Ives. Couldn't, so I couldn't tell you. Really. But, from that whiff there, I definitely got some alcohol. I think it's the smell of alcohol from it. Oh, wow. It's really dark. Really dark. I've never seen a uh, a Germain's English blend look like that. There's crystal all over it. Seems like it's got a real fruity, alcoholy kind of a smell to it, for sure. Real wet. It's real dark. You almost can't even tell between the Latakia and the Orientals. But it's supposedly aged by a special process, so maybe that has a little bit to do with. Uh, Why it's got crystals on it already. But I'm gonna go ahead and lay some out here. Let it dry. Pack a bowl in my meerschaum. Come back and let you guys know what's going on. So I just got this bowl of uh, St. Ives lit up here. And right off the bat, you know, I was kind of expecting maybe like a Smoker's Haven Cognac mixture or select mixture or 20th anniversary something like that but it's not quite like that the room note isn't bad quite incensey almost um, quite lovely it's got a subtle sweetness I'm thinking it's probably from the top note. It doesn't taste like a Virginia or something. It tastes like a, a not quite like a natural sweetness. Almost tastes like maybe there's some Cavendish in there. From what I was expecting, I was expecting a cased Balkan blend or a cased English. But I'm not quite sure now um, of what the components are. I'm not able to pick out the Orientals or the Latakia necessarily. It's... Um, It just seems kind of like a mild aromatic. Not in a gloopy way or anything. It's burning really well. But there isn't a ton of flavor there. I'm kind of surprised. I was expecting more of a, a cased Balkan blend, but this is more of a regular aromatic. I'm not getting your typical English flavors from it. Um, it 
it's more or less just like a really subtle aromatic. Um, I don't think there's any Cavendish in it. Maybe there's some brown Cavendish, but all in all, nothing's really sticking out. Um, It's not harsh or off-putting in any way, but there's nothing particularly special, it seems like, about it. Like it's just a slightly sweet tobacco. Um, <clears throat> it burns well and stuff, but uh, it just doesn't seem like there's a whole lot going on there. Although this may be, you know, a really enjoyable blend for aromatic smokers, guys that like that kind of stuff. I would almost say, it almost reminds me of, you know, how people refer to aromatics as like smoking hot air. That's kind of what this is like, but it has a slight sweetness to it wasn't expecting this at all and usually I mean I wouldn't give it a negative review but I'm just not all that impressed so far I have to smoke it down a ways and, and see where it goes from here um, hopefully it develops into a better uh, into more flavor or something because uh, right now the first quarter I'm kind of unimpressed but uh, I'll be back as soon as uh, I get, get down towards the end here. So here we are, down towards the bottom of the bowl. And uh, it's gotten better. It's gotten better, definitely. Um, it's actually quite enjoyable. The first part... Um, I don't know why, I just wasn't feeling good for a few minutes there. <laughs> and I guess, I don't know, the tobacco just wasn't tasting right. But now, um, now that I'm getting down towards the end of the bowl, what I'm thinking is, it's a very mild English. A very mild English um, with an alcohol topping, I believe. <clears throat> you know, I was thinking, you know, it tastes kind of like uh, hot air, but no. No, at the beginning, mostly what you get is the sweetness from the topping. But as you go, the uh, English flavors start to come in towards the uh, middle. just seems like a very very light English with a topping and it is quite pleasant <laughs> I could see many a situation where this would be a good smoke like say when you're around other people and you want to smoke it English Smooth as a baby's bottom. Got a nice kind of English nose feel. Just a really, really light English with a topping. I mean, that, that just about sums it up. It, there's nothing crazy special about it that just jumps out and blows your mind, but it's just got a really pleasant... Uh, light English aromatic feel to it. Would I buy more? Mm, probably not.
being that I'm more of a rich English guy. I like the richness of a full English blend, like our best blend or Margate or Balkan Sobrani, stuff like that. <clears throat> Skiff mixture. I like, you know, real robust English blends with a real nice oriental tang to them. Whereas this doesn't really have all that. It's a very toned down English. It's not an off-putting blend in any way. And I've seen a, a guy did a review where he was saying, Blech, this is gross. It's like St. Ives, this and that. Well, I've never had St. Ives. I know it's a cased English. But to me, it could be far worse. This isn't a half-bad blend at all. <clears throat> um... Wouldn't be amongst my favorites, but I'm sure there is a, a niche for it. There's a group of pipe smokers out there that this would be their perfect blend, you know. And, and honestly, this blend kind of behaved like a normal Germain's blend. It starts off kind of light. And as you smoke through the bowl, you end up with a with a nice, rich uh, finish. You know, it doesn't show off at first. It takes it a while to build up the flavors. And that's kind of how this was. Real easy blend to smoke. Doesn't get hot. You know, it kind of reminds me of cognac mixture, just a little toned down. You know, it doesn't have, it's not quite as rich of an English. But all in all, it's a good blend, you know, and I would recommend it uh, to perhaps uh, guys that are aromatic smokers or new smokers, guys who, who, who aren't big English fans or guys who have never had Englishes. You know, this might be a good um, entry-level uh, Germain's English blend. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I've said all about all there is to say about it. <laughs> I'll probably do another video here shortly. i got some packages today. But uh, until next time, guys, Treetop Piper, over and out.